I'm going to show you how to make a multiple drop down question. Uh, these are really not intuitive. Uh, it's one of those things that a lot of people end up with questions on. So I'm going to show you first. Be sure you've selected the multiple drop downs there. Now it will recognize the variables. It says variables here. And it gives instructions here. And it's kind of like, what? So. So first we have to create the variable here and then enter the answers here, which probably doesn't make sense, but it will in a minute. So I'm going to make my multiple drop downs. I like to put them in a, I use this one when I'm doing a single question. So That, that's like the world's lamest question. Um, but I need to turn this into the drop downs. So I'm going to recreate this like this. So this is option one and this is option two. But really, I could do anything. I could have left it the way it was and just put put it like this. The students can't see these answers, so it doesn't matter. They just have to be different. And then once you put them in brackets, that creates this drop-down menu down here. So for the first answer, Byzantine, I'm going to change this back to 1. See, and you'll notice that changes. 1. I'm going to put Byzantine versus Romanian and fish, which is a stupid answer. But it's a stupid question, so it works. I'm going to change that back to two, and you see this changes. Now this one, I want to make it so this is the correct answer. And I always put shuffle answers on, so it puts them in random order. That's just easier for me. Um, big small chicken and then once i update the question it's it's got it now there's a few things you need to know about it one is that you can't have any spaces in these brackets this is in case you want to actually use brackets that the kids can see you, you see it didn't update down here. But if I change it, see now it's now it's there. So so that will allow you to still use brackets in the formatting for this one. I think you also can't use is it quotes? Yeah, quotes. You can't put quotes inside it or it or it won't work because it'll assume you're trying to do something different. And so that's how you create the multiple drop-down questions.